Ministry with a check for $200,000. It comes a little more than a year after an EF1 tornado barreled through the small community. News 10's Jordan Burrell joins us in studio to tell us what this money means for the recovery. Hi, Jordan. Hi, Amaya. The EF1 tornado caused a lot of damage, mostly near City Hall. The total cost to restore everything damaged was approximately $500,000. And with the city already receiving more than half from insurance, the $200,000 check will cover the expected cost. We had to dig ourselves out before we could start helping the community. We had two buildings that were completely destroyed and the roof partially torn off of a third. More than a year ago, on August 11th, an EF-1 tornado swept through the city of Perry, causing a lot of damage and costing a lot of money. The final price to restore damages to trees, sidewalks, three Department of Public Works barns, and City Hall being $500,000, and insurance only covering half. Unfortunately, they didn't meet the federal guidelines to be able to uh, f receive federal dollars. Uh, but we saw the significant damage that happened here in the city. We wanted to make sure that we could help them out. And so I was pleased that we were able to work through the state budget to find $200,000 to meet the needs. When speaking to Mayor Sue Hammond just this time last year, she had no idea where the city was going to get the money. We do not have $205,000 that it's going to take to... Uh, pay for all the cleanup and restoration. But today, Senator Sam Singh handing over a check for $200,000 from the state. Thank you for making this happen because without you, I don't think it would have. I'm just happy that people saw that we had a need and, and people stepped forward to help us out with that. The community came together during the event and it's nice to see that we weren't forgotten about after the event. The city of Perry has started cleanup already. The check will be used as reimbursement, but also to get started on projects they haven't been able to yet. Amaya. Thank you, Jordan. A new homeless shelter.